I've been playing this game since before title sequences, before being able to win the game, before most of the area's characters, abilities, and enemies. As soon as this game was viable on Steam, myself and my friend were playing it. After sinking a lot of hours into it and getting a lot of the unlocks in the game, I can firmly say that it's one of my favorite games. It's got plenty of variation with characters, items, and more recently artifacts to suit all play styles. And an unlock system that gives you a good challenge unlocking characters and items by doing tasks of varying difficulty. Most of which you get accidentally because of how hectic and crazy it gets. Tasks make you play more cautiously or more aggressively depending on what they are and the variation of maps gives a nice feeling that takes the repetitiveness of the gameplay away. The feel of the game is actually very nice. I think that they've nailed the difficulty progression of going through stages. There's no jump in difficulty, but the longer you play, the harder it gets. On the rainstorm and monsoon difficulties especially, you never feel that the game is easy. But I don't think that you feel powerless either. As you move through the game getting more items and sliding into how you best play, the game throws stronger enemies and a lot more of them at you. Each stage goes from almost peaceful and tranquil to a bullet hell nightmare, where from top to bottom of your screen becomes a miasma of enemies and damage numbers and explosions and I tell you, monkey brain activation right there. You get hooked on the hypnotizing cacophony of colors, lights, and sounds, making it easy to sink hours into a single run. The different extra things to do, some of which are based on chance, also give the game a nice change in pace and keep you interested. Moreover, the ending is quite satisfying. Obviously, you can obliterate yourself from existence and that is as short and sweet as it should be. And as for the boss fight, it's hard enough on Drizzle. It's a challenge. And on Monsoon, the victory feels so good. For people who have completed the boss fight and know the stages, it gives you fuel to keep pushing till the end. I also like that the end of the boss fight isn't the end of the run. A lot of games gives you a cutscene cementing the victory of the game. Risk of Rain doesn't. It gives you no respite, it gives you a 3 minute timer and tells you to find a way out. The way it feels though is good, and when that final cutscene does play, you feel the victory is well deserved. Oh, and the soundtrack to this game is amazing. I mean, just listen. I hope that in the future the game gets even more things, mainly characters and abilities, giving the allowance for even more playstyles and variations. But for how it is now, if you like this type of game, I highly recommend it. And with a four player co-op, invite your friends too.